On James Street in Eastwood, there is a barber shop straight out of another era. Gentlemen in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s come here for haircuts and styles. From this man, Victor Villani. You want to come at 6 30 in the morning? He came to America in 1951 from Italy. Okay, let me take my tie right off then. Victor has been the mainstay in the, in the Eastwood area. Great, when you walk out of here, you feel like a million bucks because he's done a beautiful job. One of the reasons you come was for the, the first reason was for obviously the haircut. The second time you come back was because you were impressed. The third time you come back, it's because you, you liked them. And then the fourth time you came back, you were family. I got two married. Oh, two married, yeah. Right. Two little babies, two grandkids now. Victor also cut the hair of many prominent locals in Syracuse, from TV anchor Ron Curtis to SU Chancellor Kent Severud. And the customers know Victor's family. They're proudly displayed in his booth, along with a photo of his wife, Sarah. She was really something. It was so beautiful. Everything was nice, you know. She died last July. But his barbershop brotherhood remains close. And just like any family, they bicker all the time. Okay. Hey, hey, don't, me don't mess up the head. I do what? You come late. How can I come late if you don't know when I'm going to be here? I told you 150 times. Yeah, but I don't remember. It's a problem. Oh, We're getting old. Me, me either, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty old. <laughs> no, not that old. Not that old. You're as young as you feel, young man. Oh, well, not that old. 80, 86 years, that's pretty old. <laughs> when I was young, everything was good. I was a very handsome guy. Oh, here we go. There you were, Victor. I got, I got blue eyes. All the girls used to run after me. Now everybody runs away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Even at 86, Victor doesn't mind being on his feet. He knows exactly when he's going to retire. When I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me $500. <laughs> Five hundred dollars. Five hundred? Yeah, it's okay.